Hi everyone, this is Rohini and currently I am in grade 12. So in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate to you all the project that I have developed under Team Clevert and the senior researcher of Oxford University, Dr. Kent Ka. So before getting into the details of how I build the app and how the app works, I would like to tell you all a bit about myself and my project. So here we go. I'm very passionate about AI and I have always wanted to work on a hands-on project that uses different domains of AI like NLP, machine learning, or deep learning, computer vision, etc. But at the same time, I'm also very passionate about advocating the importance of mental health. As we know, in today's technology-driven world, this recycled tendency in teenagers is increasing at an alarming rate and it is one of the most pressing issues today that demands quick attention. So all I decided was to come up with an app that uses AI technology to accurately track and predict the mental health status of a student on the basis of user input, such that we can take precautionary steps in advance. So for doing the same, I have uh, used machine learning. What I have basically done is that I have collected a data set uh, on the basis of which I have trained a machine learning model uh, such that it can give uh, the correct uh, levels of uh, depression, anxiety, or panic attack in students. So if AI can accurately track the mental health status of students on the basis of user input, and uh, discover intricacies and trends and figure out correlations, then it will be bad instrumental in saving their lives. So, as he said, the first step of my project was to collect the necessary data set. So, I'm just going to take you all to the data set that I have collected. Yes, so this is the data set that I have collected. And on the basis of it, I have trained a machine learning model. So um, as you can see, this data set consists of several pointers like uh, gender, age, uh, current year of study, uh, grade point average, marital status. And it also has a column uh, that tells us whether the student is suffering from any sort of depression or not. We have similar columns for anxiety, panic attack, and specialist treatment as well. So this is the data set. And now I'm going to take you all to the snapshots of the app user interface that I have designed. So uh, this is the uh, user interface that appears on my screen when uh, I run the code. So. I execute all the blocks of code from the beginning, and when I reach this piece of the code uh, and execute this, it will redirect to this blank user interface. Okay, so in total, there are five user interfaces in my project. This is the first blank user interface that appears on the screen, and below it is the second user interface. Uh, as you can see, there are sef uh, seven labels over here. Timestamp, gender, age, course, year, CGPA, and marital status. And the, the boxes that are highlighted in blue are called the entry boxes or data fields. So um, this is the third user interface that appears on the screen. As you can see, I have added five prediction buttons in the third user interface. Four prediction buttons are for depression anxiety, panic attack, and specialist treatment. And the fifth prediction button is uh, for displaying the main conclusions of my project. Uh, I have also uh, plotted a few graphs for you, uh, just to uh, show you all the main inferences that I have drawn. And this is the fourth user interface that appears on my screen. For each of the seven labels, uh, I enter the corresponding values in the 
uh, respective data fields or entry boxes highlighted in blue. But there's a precautionary step that we need to uh, take over here. Uh, we, we must ensure that the values entered in each of the entry boxes must be of the same data type as indicated in the project code. So when I run the code, I'll just show it to you all so that you can understand better. So and when I click on the depression button, it will show a corresponding output alongside the button. And we, we see that the student has depression. Okay. So uh, similarly, we also click the anxiety, panic attack, and specialist treatment buttons. And we can see the corresponding output on the screen alongside. Okay, so this is the final output. And when we click on the display conclusions button, it will redirect to this fifth user interface that you can see on my screen right now. So it, it will display the main inferences that I have drawn from the graphical representations that I have shown. Okay, so these are the four graphs that, that graphically represent the you know, main trends. So now I'm going to take you to my code. I'll just uh, run the code from the beginning just to make sure that everything is working fine. Okay. So yes, as you can see on my screen, uh, this is the set of libraries uh, that I had to import to train the machine learning model. Uh, and this is where I have imported the data set. And I have converted uh, specific columns to numerical values for convenience. Okay. And I have renamed some of the columns just to uh, shorten the titles. Okay. Uh, so that it becomes more convenient. And I, uh, this is where I have written the code for training the machine learning model. Uh, this is where I have written the code for constructing uh, the decision tree classifiers separately for uh, depression level, anxiety level, uh, level of panic attack, and uh, a fourth decision tree classifier for specialized treatment. Okay. So after you have completed that uh, part of the code, uh, I have written a code to design the user interface of my screen. So uh, when I run this piece of code, it will just uh, uh, it will just show a blank user interface as you can see on my screen. Next, uh, when I run this one. Uh, it shows uh, uh, the, the second user interface with seven labels and uh, their corresponding entry boxes that are highlighted in blue. Okay, so in these entry boxes or data fields, we need to enter uh, the values. Okay, uh, so when I run this piece of the code again, uh, you see here that for uh, uh, each of the seven labels, uh, I would have to enter the, uh, the uh, respective values here. And uh, I have added five more buttons as I just explained to you in the presentation. So let's just take any arbitrary values and um, person parameters. So I enter the values for timestamp, gender, age, course, year, CGPA, and marriage status. So I have passed the parameters in the seven entry boxes. So, but there's one thing uh, that you must make sure. You must make sure that uh, the values you enter in the data fields must be of the same type that I have indicated in the project code. Otherwise, it will throw an error in the console and the app will not work. So let us see if the app is working fine or not. So when I click on the depression button, 
it shows the student has depression. When I click on the next button, it shows that the student is not suffering from anxiety, but the student has panic attack. But still, uh, he or she is not seeking any specialized treatment. Okay, so you can see the final output in the form of either a yes or a no alongside the prediction buttons separately for depression, anxiety, panic attack, and specialized treatment. So now when I click on the display conclusions button, um, it will just redirect me to a, a fifth user interface that shows the main inferences that I have from the graphs I have plotted. Okay, so that's it. And uh, these are the selected graphs that I have plotted. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's how the project works. And I'm sure all of you can use it as well. So thank you.